for over the last two years is an ability to have some flexibility. Well, that does give us um, some flexibility in relation to infrastructure. So, so rather than having to borrow uh, for these significant infrastructure projects and that deficit uh, that I spoke about, uh, we now have funds sitting in a particular account, Restart New South Wales, uh, the West Connects project, uh, the, the Pacific Highway, Princess Highway, Bridges to the Bush and, and funds down to infrastructure in Illawarra, uh, all of those uh, are going to be pushed out over the next uh, few weeks, months uh, and years as the projects come to fruition. Now that, that is something uh, that is going to help, uh, I think, quite strongly in relation to the overall economic performance uh, of the state um, over the next three or four years. Indeed, global construction companies uh, are viewing uh, New South Wales as one of the big opportunities uh, for the next decade. And many are setting up uh, offices here, many are setting up alliances. Uh, but the infrastructure world is alight with the opportunities that sit uh, in New South Wales. So in conclusion, uh, despite the, uh, the challenges uh, you know, we face, there's, there's a pretty simple strategy we have. You have to rein in um, expenditure growth and, and we've done that. Uh, certainly the, the, the trends and our record on expense management is starting to come to fruition and you can see long term uh, the benefits that will come with that. Uh, we maintain our focus in on the frontline services, so yes we're, we're shrinking head offices, unashamedly shrinking head offices as we reduce our costs, but we're also trying to maintain our frontline services. So over 4,000, indeed close to 5,000 additional uh, nurses, teachers and, and police uh, that, that have come uh, while we have been going through uh, this adjustment, structural adjustment. Uh, we're getting on with that infrastructure backlog. I am not taking the foot off uh, the need for infrastructure um, and certainly all we are doing is to, to get on and deliver that uh, rather than talk about it and we have to deliver it and the port transaction has released a huge amount of capital to get on with it. And protecting the vulnerable is certainly something we have as well. So if you're controlling your expenditure, uh, you've got a capacity to undertake initiatives such as the NDIS, uh, which, which personally together with the, uh, the Minister um, is something that, that I'm very proud of.